welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing our December favorites video. We actually usually kind of skip this month and just do a yearly favorites, but we have so many things that we bought in November that we've been using in December, so we just wanted to do this video for you guys. First up, I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale, and it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Let me show you how pretty it is. I love it so much. You can, the mirror, you can probably see our camera equipment. It's so beautiful. It has a neutral quad, a cool quad, and then a warm quad. And this is my first Kat Von D shadow palette, and her shadows are so like creamy and blendable. There is a lot of fallout, but I don't even care because of how blendable they are. I've tried so many shadows, and these blend into each other like a dream. I've been using it every single day, and that's saying a lot because I have so many shadows. I just got some new Anastasia ones, but I just love this palette so much. I think it's so worth the money. It's perfect for everyday use. They are all matte, if you didn't notice. It's an all matte palette, but I really like all matte looks for a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really love shimmer shadows as much as I used to. So I think this palette is just incredible. I would even have bought it not on the sale. Like I love it so much. The only downside, and I don't know if this is for everyone, but mine says it expires in 12 months and I feel like that's really soon. I feel like it should be 24. So hopefully it lasts longer than that. But again, just such a great value. I love this palette so, so much. This is a skincare product. This is Equate Beauty, which is Walmart's brand, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you've ever read reviews on like knockoff brands, but Walmart is one of the brands that always say like compare to and then they'll list a popular mm -hmm. product. And this got such amazing reviews on the website and it says compare to the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2 and this is the Equate Beauty Clarifying Toner. And because of the reviews and it was on sale one day for like $7 so I just picked it up and I love this. Like I... I don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. I don't know why it's purple, first of all, because it doesn't look purple on your skin. But you get 13.5 fluid ounces for $7, which is insane. I'm, I don't know how much the Clinique one is, but it's got to be like four mm -hmm. times that price. And it says for drier combination skin. So to me, like when you re-clarify, you kind of think it's going to be harsh on your skin and really like shed all the dead skin. But since it says drier combination skin and it says leave skin feeling toned, refreshed, and moisturized, it definitely makes your skin feel moisturized. I don't think it's too harsh. It has a strong scent like most toners do, mm -hmm. I would say, when you first put it on. Um, but it definitely like makes your skin feel very fresh, clean, and moisturized. And one thing I really love about this that I haven't found in any other toner I've ever used is that it dries down on the skin very fast. Because we were using, I think it's called the Thayer's, the mm -hmm. Fat Thayer's, aloe the Witch Hazel toner. Aloe mm -hmm. Toner that I still really love, but it definitely takes a while to dry down. And when you have like five or six steps in your skincare routine at night, you definitely want don't want to wait for like your toner to dry before starting the next step. And this dries so fast, so I can use it in the morning and the night. I use it every day and look at I haven't even like barely made a dent so I totally love this I would recommend it to anyone I think it's such a hidden gem such good favorites this month every product yeah. I pick up I'm like ah, so excited this is the bomb mad lash mascara and holy cow this is my new favorite mascara we love mascara I think we've talked about it before we have pretty long lashes so most mascaras work for us but this one is incredible it has a really long brush that's semi-curved, like not too curved, and it has so many little bristles. I would say it's a combination between Benefit Roller Lash and CoverGirl Lash Blast, in my opinion. Yeah. Because Lash Blast has all those like little bristles and gets every hair, so it's like that, but it has like the curved one, like Roller Lash, and it has these little bristles on the ends so you can get like your inner corners. I'm so impressed with this mascara. It does take a little while to dry, which I don't love, but once it's dry, it doesn't stay tacky, it doesn't flake off. It is phenomenal. I bought it actually when I was in Seattle at a Walgreens that had a giant beauty department, and it was only $18, which I guess is kind of expensive for mascara since I buy a lot of drugstore mascaras, but I will continue to buy this for the rest of my life or until it's discontinued, because honestly, it's that good. I think everyone could use this too, like not just us that has really long lashes. If you have shorter lashes, I really think you would love this. You should try it out. Next up is a new nail polish line. This is KL Polish by Kathleen Light. And she released her own nail polish line. As you can see, there are six shades. I'll go through I them can hold them really quickly. 
So we have Zoe, Gumption, Broccoli and Chocolate, Carmelo, Snickerdoodle, and Brook Sidewalk. Yes, and Broccoli and Chocolate is such a cute name. It's the name of American Ashley's song from their first video. We obviously love American Ashley, so we love that she picked the shade name. They all have meaning to her, all these shades. And as you can see, they're really like deep, pretty jewel tone shades. So they're perfect for winter. The formula is so nice. It definitely stays on longer than like S or OPI. And they're 850, so and you get 0 0.41 fluid ounces. So yeah, I feel like that's good. It's a good deal. They're really pretty packaging too. Next up is something I got in my Ipsy bag last month, and it's the Verb Ghost Oil. And I haven't really tried a lot of Verb products. It's a hairline. But this stuff is only $14, I think, on Sephora. So when I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to order the bigger bottle. I love it. I just put it in my hair after I'm out of the shower, before I blow dry. And I do, like, three drops because I have pretty long hair. And it makes my hair super silky, super shiny. It's so much easier to comb through. I love the scent. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It's basically, like, the perfect hair oil. It says, smoothing more anga blend plus weightless hair oil. And I don't, I don't even know what else is in it, but I'm definitely going to buy the full size when it's gone because I love it and I think it's really worth like the money. It's a great value. Next up is a lip product. Shocking. We always buy so many lip products. This is the Jeffree Star Deceased Liquid Lipstick from his holiday collection. You may have seen this in our Black Friday haul. Definitely got on Black Friday. And it's so pretty. I mean, I talked about it a little bit in that video, but it's... What is what is this called? Like a, I think it's a nude mauve. If a that's nude real. mauve. It's I don't like know. a nude mauve shade, and it's so pretty. I'm not wearing it today. This is actually one of the new Sephora cream lip stain shades. I'm, I'm wearing it too. Obsessed, so I couldn't not wear it. But I totally love this shade and recommend it. I think it would be so pretty in all skin tones because it's a cooler tone. I feel like a lot of people can't pull off warmer shades, but most people look good in cooler shades. That's just my opinion. Um, so definitely go pick this up. I think he has bundles right now, so you can save some money. Something else we talked about in our in our Black Friday haul video is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. No surprise here, we love this. There's nothing we can tell you that other people haven't. Yeah. It's really full coverage, but blends like a dream. Doesn't look cakey. Yeah. We're both wearing it today, I think. Yeah. I'll yeah. <laughs> Um, we have the shade Light Medium, and I might pick up Light Neutral too because this is a little dark for me in my pale skin days, but it's, we love it. It's a great, great, great concealer. This is the Foreo Luna 2 for combination skin, and we also got this on Black Friday, and we just are so obsessed with it. It's like my little baby. I know. I love I it I love it so, so much. much. It has gradual bristles, so they start off smaller and get larger towards the tip, and you just turn it off. I don't think we showed you this in the Black Friday haul, so yeah. you turn it on, and you can probably hear it buzz Wait, buzz. Why did mine turn on? Oh, there it goes. Um, and then it, you can make it higher pressure or lower pressure, if that's the right term. And it goes for three minutes, two minutes? I think two, but we've never lasted that long. Yeah. And it makes a little, like, I don't know if you can hear this. It, it'll, it like, shift. I'm using really weird words for describing this. But it, it basically, like, pauses and stops. Um, and then that's when you know to move on to a different part of your face, which is really helpful. And then... <coughs> After you turn it off, then you turn it back on, and it's a lower pulsation, which is for the anti-aging side, that you can press products into your skin, and then you turn it off, and you're good to go till the next day of time you use it. And it's just so nice. It feels like a spa treatment every time I use it. It does. It makes your skin so smooth. It's and worth it just, the money. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. It's so worth the money. I recently went to Morphe to get some Christmas presents, and I decided to pick up one of their gold collection brushes. These start with Y. I'm not really sure. I think yellow gold. Okay. They start with Y. I thought that was really weird. But um, They say it's yellow gold, so I think the Y is for yellow. Okay. That makes sense. But, yeah, these I actually was really impressed with because of the price. I was expecting them to be more expensive. And, like, this guy is the Y18, was only $6. And it feels like the Elite Collection, so it's very nice, like, and the bristles. But the body's like the Gunmetal Collection. Yeah. And I really love this. I needed a new um, crease brush, more of, like, precision crease for deeper shades because I was using the M. 
441 I want to say and it kind of that one like never stays flat for me do you have that issue too yeah I think we wash them too hard yeah I don't know what it is but it wouldn't stay flat so now I can't really use it how I want to use it so I got this one and I really love it it's tapered on the end so you can like pack on the dark color just on the end and then really like blend it out into the crease and for six dollars and it's super lightweight like the gunmetal collection mm -hmm. which I like I mean it's like it doesn't really matter if a brush is heavy because it's never going to be super heavy, but it's just like a side note to think about. Um, and I really want to try more from this collection. But we have also saw they were releasing the copper and white ones, and those look mm -hmm. so nice. Beautiful. So they need to stop releasing new products because we can't keep up. I know. Thanks, guys, for watching our December favorites. And as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below.